guys welcome back to another video guys as i state in the other video that it will to be continued so i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry that i didn't show you guys that all the breakfast was prepared and all of that stuff that i talk about that i was going to let you guys see so i'm sorry again so guys please like up the video go ahead and subscribe to my channel so what i'll be doing for you guys today so well actually tonight so tomorrow guys you know tomorrow we get another a day to a vlogmas so don't miss that out so guys like up this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't tell a friend to tell a friend yeah tell a friend to tell a friend so guys i've not continued the video that i promised so what i decided to do is i'm gonna as you see done by the title what i'm gonna do today i'll be asking i'll be answering questions that i that you might ask so today so tonight i will be asking what am i saying so guys i will be answering to the questions that i have written down here so i'll be answering the question that you might ask so my first question that i know that you might ask is how old i am so guys how old do i look <laughs> so guys i am 26 years old all right um 26 years old comment down below if you are 26 too so my second question is what is my birth month so guys my birth month but that said leo is what guys you don't know me and leo so i'm my birth month is august 20 yes guys i don't know if you want to know the year i don't think i should to tell you the year i don't know so you do the maths i'm 26 years old august 20 right so i'm a leo so my second question is that you might ask is what makes me cry the most um guys i'm gonna have to leave that question for later i'm not ready to answer that question yet so i'm gonna move on to the other question mm. what keeps me moving so guys what really keeps me moving is the thought of my kids and mom i want them to live the best life they deserve my mom gives me guys my mom gives me everything she could to make me happy so i can so i wanna i wanna keep her happy before she leaves this hurt and that is actually my goal for her and my kids i love them so much guys i love them both so that is what keeps me moving all right what was my scariest thing that what was the scariest thing that happened to me guys um the most scariest thing that happened to me guys was when i actually got this and i could almost die okay i that that's another story that i would have to come tell you so i save that for a story time guys what really actually happened all right so my scariest thing that happened to me is that i almost died and i would be here making videos right now so i have to thank god because he is the one who truly was there for me and keep me keep me alive guys so yeah my next question is which man ever makes me feel most loved and appreciate 
my boo my baby right here he's gonna i'm gonna let you see him before the end of the video all right guys so he keeps he, he give me the most love he appreciates me he do anything for me he supports me i really love him guy i love him to death right the, he's the best man that i've ever got and I, he's the best man that i ever talked to guys he's, he's a wonderful guy trust me all right so guys what is my happiest moments my happiest moments are my kids my happiest moments is seeing them come out of my body body yes guys so my happiest moments is giving birth to my kids that was one of my most happiest moments and is still my happiest moments all right so what is my most embarrassed moments <laughs> guys my most embarrassed moment is when i used to go to i used to go to primary school when i was in about grade i think i was about in grade one or grade two i think it about grade one or it was grade two or three i don't remember i think it was i was in grade three yeah i think it was in grade three i used to went to chetwood guys if you know chetwood memorial primary school yes guys when i when i had diarrhea guys i had diarrhea that time diarrhea was going around and i had diarrhea yes guys and i shitted myself yes i shit up myself guys <laughs> That was my very most embarrassed moments because all of my friends my friends all of the um, most students was there kids was there and i know that i was small at the time but i remember when i was so embarrassed but I, diarrhea is not a nice thing guys if you have diarrhea stay yard trust me stay yard okay guys so what is my most saddest moments mm. so guys this is very hard right now so I, I i leave this part for i leave this part for later so what is my most saddest moments <sighs> my saddest moments guys when i grew up knowing my dad <sighs> guys okay my next question is what is the worst thing that someone ever done to you So the worst thing that I, someone that is very even very close to me guys that i think well not think but have suspicions about is like a close family member i won't call any name i won't say any name i won't call nobody to think that way you know but the person probably know themselves and they know it within so i don't really have to call any names so the person if they are watching this they will probably know that yes that's i mean she attack and they will feel guilty in themselves even they no one come out and speak but guys the worst thing a person ever done to me and <sighs> Guys, uh, the the lash I lift up, the one I look, it look lean. Guys, me know I look lean. Gosh, someone got to say it, man. Yeah, it look lean, it lean. So me have to go do back that one when I when me come up. when when me ready. Backside when me ready. Anyways, so guys, so the the worst thing a person ever done to me was trying. Was track many if I pretty up this many if I pretty it up. Guys, the worst thing a person could have ever done done to me or do to me is to try to mad me. Yeah. 
it's like that guys a person is like then try for mad it's like all right so here's so here oh it goes guys so it's something to do with my book when i was going to school i used to when i used to go to anchovy i so it come around to a time where i can't i can't find one of my books so guys in combat guys <laughs> so it was a time where i couldn't find my book and you know, I would never really I take it as anything because you know, women never really to believe in them. Some say people can take your book and do things to you. I really, not, I didn't really understand at that time. So, maybe my book went missing, guys, and it couldn't be found. So, I get to understand that it wasn't me the blow was supposed to go for, it was from, it was from my mom. They, they, they was, I don't know, the person was like, that would be like their bad man or them envy, envy mother or them wedding. And then so when I can't catch her, then catch a shot. So I'm the last one dear to my mom. So I guess it isn't, it didn't catch her, it catch me. Cause I was, I, I don't know if I was small at the time or my, I wasn't strong enough or I don't know what happened. It just catch me guys, it just catch me, I don't know. Guys, so at this time i was like normal like i was being the regular kid that i was in like eighth grade i was in eighth grade going to anchovy and me i go anchovy and when me in a eighth grade both of you are going in a eighth grade it's like me, me stop being normal it's like me start feel it's like me start hear voices me start see the place so dark clouded like a place cloud up like i'm here alone living at this world like, and everybody against me you guys ever feel like it well i am literally speaking like that's all they put me to like them i mess with my brain i don't know what they did or where them go or what happened it's just that me stop being normal all of a sudden me start going mad me no want to be me no want to brush my teeth my mother if i carry me up and down to places go to doctor doctor tell me say me have chemical imbalance in my brain which not like that no go so for sure because i never born with that and i don't even know what the, that mean so you don't know i think already me go and the doctor tell me that mother thinking that she did not know because she's not spiritual she never she never went to go church at the time so you don't know she go try everything and you know then go everybody goes to a doctor so that they think doctor knows it all you understand they think doctor knows it all but doctor no god so I say God me say. Here, God me say. Doctor don't know what happened to me. Doctor don't know what happened to me. He just tell, tell her something for, for collect her money. Prescribe, pres, prescribe something for chemical imbalance in her brain. If God never did by my side, or if me I did fool, would I take them, pill them, would I be a mad woman to them, would I do not slip on the road, or no more to garbage bin, thanks be to God. It never reached there best believe guys but me tell us say i am not myself i am completely lost it me can't control myself i am there physically but me not did it mentally 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 you understand me did it physically but me not did it mentally you understand so it's like my mother put in a everything my mother put in a porridge give me him put in a drinks I always feel it and know that it and pity out it. I not take it. It's God did it by me and I said, don't take it, girl. Girl, don't take it. Because nothing no wrong with your girl, not take it. I just a pick them out, so. I not take not one. Because I know that would have fuck up my brain. Sorry for my language, guys. Sorry for kids, they pan your watch. You understand? So... When me know say me not take them now, my mother realized that me not take them by mouth. She start putting her food. Me still find it. Me still find it. It's like me said like, me, like, me inner self. I try to fight it, but me can't fight it. Cause whatever they do, stronger than me. And I was just a child. I was just in eighth grade. Seven to eighth grade. And when my mother. 
care of me that time they make some family other family member care me go and want man where they want over man with one bag of banana trash behind you and some pebbles too and when me can't remember for sure you owe me brain and God me can't remember you understand? Me I see all the things that me I try. So come like me I tell me I say oh we didn't care about this place, but me can't me can't do nothing about it because I just saw them set me. Me can't do nothing about it. Me I hear said the man I, man I tell my mother if you care much, <laughs> how much coal come, much coal how much money. But my mother is supposed to get a big old coal from for care come in a big old beer. At some at some we open our overtime for some way. Come I me mean, can tell remember so me I walk and I went in a beer. I mean, just can't remember the place. Me no wanna remember the place. Cause I won't be going there. Understand? So there's a, a sister now, a church sister, a church member, a friend of my mom now. She's like she crying and she telling everybody say don't know what wrong with Camila. She don't know what wrong with Camila. My poor mother stressed out over her picnic. Her last picnic at that, no no what do me. She cry, she couldn't eat, she can't sleep because she have to attend to me. I several times I try to commit suicide. Me look her cousin and I had the knife them out of the house. Cause at one point about three to four times, me try to cut a knife to kill myself and then catch me and take away from me. For sure you owe me no know what me I do. You understand? My mother couldn't sleep, so I have to watch me. Everybody have to watch me. When I watch, when I look on the TV, TV look like it's a talk back to me, like them a talk about me. You know, when somebody had talk about you, everybody in the world against you, I start hearing negative, be a negative voice me hearing in my head. And I know that wasn't me. Everybody, my mother knows that that isn't her, 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 her daughter. You understand? And there's a church member just call um just call and and say she no one church over by wayside wayside or faith church and i do, can't rem I, I i'm i don't forget when i go out to white house that is out by your past flanka and go out more to that that white house me talk not westmoreland white house the one in Montego Bay. and when we go out by there to the church because they never have any building yet they never have a they never have any church yet and such for build up so they may have a little tent out there where they may go me can't forget me go up on a tuesday like when they have prayer worship or something like that they have prayer worship and all the prayer warrior them come and my mother come with me and i tell her say me sit me no know what i go on i only can look and see them and i said they put on one piece of prayer you know guys and put on one piece of praying you know it's about time then done and then pray and then call upon God. It's about time then done pray, guys. Trust and believe me. Me come back to my senses. Me come back to Camila. Me come back to Carmelia. Me come back to my senses. It's like nothing never happened to me when they pray after that day. What they, what the demon or whatever they sit by me. Or dopey or whatever they wanna call it. By the time they done pray, man, I come back normal to my normal self, guys. I come back normal, normal. I just me go home and I was just normal again. I now do the madness there again. And when the pastor asked me, I asked the pastor, I said, Who do, we want to know who do this? He said, the, past, the only thing my pastor re replied said was to my mother, say, as somebody close to you in the family and she's me remember when she asked her me ask she asked her yeah your sister close and that was it so me i say why would she ask that like why would she ask that something or something like why would the pastor ask that question when we're asking question what happened to me so you no know, part knowing pastors, you know them them not go and come out and tell we. Cause God spoke to them so they now come out and tell it because they don't want to cast no confusion. But I don't need any more answers once me hear that. 
me no want no more answers. So that's why I kind of stay to myself. I don't want to do no heap of family. Like, yeah, me have my family is them close to me, like me, madam. Yeah, me, me, me know, but me know my levels, me know my boundaries, me not trust nobody. And that me, me really don't trust people at all, nobody at all. Me not trust nobody. Me just have to just trust in a God, because a God helped me out to, to this day. Me can't sit down and tell you no this story. Me can't sit down and say, tell you no. It not real out there, guys. Don't trust nobody. No trust no friend, no trust no family. No trust nobody. Trust God. No trust nobody at all, guys. Because the world out there is pretty. The people we at least expect for hurt you, I them I hurt you. I them I hurt you. The person we ain't even would I think I come across a man for hurt you, when I them I hurt you. Yes, guys. That is my story move on to the next question my guy take a shot so guys my saddest moments when i grew up knowing my dad died when i was five years old yes guys my 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 dad died in 2001 and i was only five so i just i grew up not knowing my dad not sharing no moments with him not knowing what my life would be and he's not here to share or to see his kids grow up to be successful and i knowing that he would be proud of us so my saddest moment is growing up knowing that my dad died in 2001 when i was five years old yes guys and until this day, um, I'm still not really over it, but I just keep pushing, knowing that my mom, my mom is my mom, my mom is my dad. They, she played both parts, and trust me, she tried with us. That's why I have to give her the most love that I, that I have in me. And she might not know it oh, how much I loved her, but not loved. Why I'm saying loved? how much i love her guys i really love her so much because she's been through so much for us and my mom my mom has four of us yep my mom got four of us so and i'm the last one guys me i wash belly yeah guys so my next question is what makes you cry the most when i know what me, makes me cry the most guys is when i sit down and i really think when i really know that i will never ever see my dad again in this lifetime so guys Is like I that really breaks my heart that really breaks my heart to know that and when I really when I really look back at it and sometimes I cry sometimes no one knows like I really have that really had an impact on my life but I I don't let it bothers me I don't really think too much because i don't want it to really get the best of me or try to take away my joy my happiness so i just try not to guys if you really understand if you really lost a loved one comment down below if you ever lost someone that is really dear to you or it's a family member it should it could be a friend it could be someone that is really close to you someone that grew you someone that you grew up with knowing but the the saddest part is that i've never got gotten to grow up or have any moments or share any moments with my dad that i could that i can remember so what makes me cry the most is when i know i'm never gonna see my dad again in this lifetime never gonna see him again if i could just 
wish to see him just one last time spend spend 20 even 24 hours or spend the day with him or whatever if i just have to spend that day with him just one time guys i wish for that honestly so guys i think that is no i have one last one guys so my last question i say the best for last so my last question is So my last question is are you freaky am i freaky